traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill. We're coming to you from Thailand. Bright blue, sunny skies. Warm today. Absolutely beautiful outside. Really a nice uh, sunrise this morning. Drinking coffee on the balcony. Absolutely gorgeous. Traders, well, what's the big news uh, in Asia today? The Fed has spoken. The Fed has spoken and apparently the markets really liked what the Fed had to say and what their decisions were. It looks like the Fed has said, from what I saw this morning, that you know they're looking at a December hike. They're taking everything into consideration, but they are steering the ship for a December hike. And um, I have to say, I think that's probably one of the um, stronger Fed meetings from what I saw that they really gave solid direction. Uh, the solid direction was, yes, we are aggressively looking to raise rates in December. You know, they were always wishy-washy about this in the past. I thought this was a pretty direct hit of what their intention is. And that's a good thing. And I think that's why the markets really liked what's going on. I don't think the markets like that they're going to do a rate hike. But I think the markets like that the Fed came out in their statement. It was very, in their press conference, was very um, strong on their direction and what they're looking to do. So I thought that was really, really great. Um, what's going on with the charts? You can see on the charts, just on the charts I have up on the screen now, you know, dollar strength across the board after this, uh, the Fed. And now we're going to look for the retrace and the pullbacks. So what did I pick for today? Well, today I picked on the Aussie dollar. All right, so, you know, this is the big red candle from the Fed. And it comes down, is now at support underneath the 200 exponential moving average. I'm looking for a pullback. I am not going to sell this here, right? At some point, you know, I'm in Asia, so it's, um, you know, it's 9 a.m. for me. It's That means it's um, 2,200 hours on Wall Street, 10 p.m. And, you know, tomorrow in the trading day, I would think a lot of people are going to be taking their profits, right? So I'm seeing that there will be a pullback. Is it going to go to where I want? Well, that's another story. But we are looking for a, you know, 61.8 pullback. And then we can take this down at 0 0.8055 with a stop at 0 um, Point eighty, eighty. I would say is a good place for a stop. And then we're going to take this down all the way to eighty ten. So you know, there's only a fifty forty pip trade, and you're just going to have to watch it. You know, this is this market's kind of okay. You know, and listen, remember, Aussie land <laughs> does not want their currency at eighty, folks. They do not want their currency at eighty. They want their currency back at 67, 68. They don't want it up here. This is very high for them. And I would think maybe, you know, in the months to come, they might do something to bring this back down. It would not surprise me at all. They definitely don't want their currency at 80. That's very high for them. All right. That's what's uh, my trade for the day. Aussie dollar. Look to take this. And if you just take a look at a bunch of other things, you know, we could take, you know, take a look at, um, you know, if we take a look at the pound, right? Pound had some good numbers come out yesterday, but nothing, right? Right, this is the Fed meeting. Not a big move here, but just about coming down to my area where I'm going to buy this, right? This trade's been on for three days, right? Since Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, this trade has been on, you know, on the books that we're looking to enter. We haven't gotten our entry yet. We do not have our entry yet. And to tell you, if we're going to buy this, and I'm bearish in the pound, by the way, but the charts are bullish, right? So, you know, you, you got to read what's in front of you and work what's in front of you. But I really want at least the five exponential moving average underneath price, which is this uh, brown line, sort of brown line here. We want that underneath price. We'd love to see the 20 underneath price. Now your EMA is all entangled with each other, and it's not a good idea to be, you know, taking a, a, a long trade right now on this on this pair. We need some some movement here to the upside. I'd like to see, you know, one or two bullish candles, you know, uh, and get that five EMA underneath price and that'll push this back up and we can, you know, we can be in that trade comfortably because wherever you get in the trade, you're still looking at a, you know, uh, a stop probably um, right at the 200 exponential moving average. So you got to make sure you're going to cover that safely, right? Now remember my opinion about stops. Stops are for emergencies. Stops are not to wait for you to be 40 pips in the red before you decide to get out. Stops are for emergencies. Your computer breaks, your internet goes, your phone breaks, whatever. 
That's for emergencies, right? All right. Of course, if the trade goes against you, what are you going to do? Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll just take a look at what are we going to look at? Well, you know, I really enjoy this New Zealand dollar. It's just really a great pair to trade. Again, did have that move on the on the Fed, and now it's just um, hanging around. So nothing to do there. Just get rid of some of this stuff on my charts. All right, so that's what we're looking at, and uh, we'll see what happens here. But this, you know, this sell trade surely didn't work, right? This, you remember this? And this could have been tricky because this trend line broke. You had three candles to the downside, so you would have gotten into this trade. Then you got a long one, a long one, and this probably was a data candle, I would think, this blue candle. And it just went up, and you probably would have gotten stopped out. And so would have I, by the way. I would have entered that trade, and the only thing that might have kept me from entering the trade is the candle's really small and weak. But I probably would have entered that trade, and I probably would have lost on it, because there's nothing there that would have told me that this is going to turn around on you. So, like I said, the only thing that I would have been... Reluctant is is that the candles are small and they're weak. They're not they're not doing anything. You know, they, they don't look like they have decision. Right? I e say, you know, yeah, they're just all of them. Pretty weak candles, okay? Alright, that's what's going on in New Zealand. And uh Alright, so Dolly Yen. Let's take a look at the Dolly Yen, how it looked at that. Now again to the upside again. This is the Fed. Here we are now in Asia, and uh, yeah, see what happens here. See what happens. Looks good. Let's take a look at what's going on in the um, market as far as data. So BOJ monetary policy statement, Bank of Japan, is due to come out in the next hour or so. Um, interest rate decision. They are not expecting any interest rate. They're going to stay at negative zero point one zero percent. RBA Governor Lowe speaks today out of Australia. ECB Economic Bulletin today. BBA Mortgage Approvals out of the pound today. Um, ECB... Oh, no, that's nothing. Just a yacker. Initial jobless claims in the U.S. Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing in the U.S. Um, Philly Fed employment today, wholesale sales today out of Canada, and what else we got? Uh, that's going to be about it. Natural gas storage is today, and ECB Draghi is speaking today, and that's at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, so keep an eye on that. All right. That's what's going on, my friends. Thank you for being with me on a Thursday. Interesting week uh, this week. Looking forward to next week. Remember, traders, I do not do a video on Friday as I have another commitment. So we will see you on Monday. Traders, always remember to trade smart, not hard. Protect yourself. Let's make some pips. Traders, have a great trading day. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.